All right, y'all, here we go. Um, Been knowing this brother for a long time. You know, watched him do his thing, come in, kill the rap game. Um, Was part of a dynasty. That whole bad boy thing that I'm so familiar with. Lock Entertainment, Bad Boy South. Prolific writer, prolific spitter. Please welcome one of the hottest rappers to ever touch a microphone, my brother, Gorilla Zo. Zo, what up? I appreciate your prayers. What's happening? Thank you. Thank you, brother. That's love. That's love. Nah, Got to get them flowers up. Got to get them flowers up. Yo, I'm, I'm going to tell you, Zo, it's good to see you. We were talking offline, man. I ain't seen you in a long time. So to be able to, you know, just conversate with my brother, man, th- th- this, is, this is one of those things that bring me joy. So I'm looking forward to it. Likewise. Likewise. Okay, so let's go to the beginning, man. Um, where'd you come up at? I know, I know when people think of you, they think Atlanta, but are you from the heart of Atlanta or, or are you from the outskirts? I'm from, I'm from uh I grew up in East Point. Well was this first my my youth, East Point. Um, and before that, Griffin. Uh my folks from Griffin, Griffin, Georgia. Um, so it's yes, yeah, it's, it's outskirts. You know what I'm saying? I was uh, I was born in um San Francisco. Oh, yeah, I was born in the Bay. Okay, so which way? How old were you when you made your way to the South? Yeah, I, I, I was one uh, when they my dad was playing football out there. I met my mom. You know they, they had me, and I think after uh after I was born, and he he went back home and she followed him. So. I've been I've been that pretty much you know I was raised in Griffin you know what I'm saying till uh till he passed uh I was like nine you know I moved up my mom had left and got married and moved to East Point it was you know what I'm saying it's Fulton County but it's it's not Atlanta <clears throat> it's his own city within the city borders within borders so um yeah I moved there when I was like nine and stayed there till I was like 14 15 and I went to job call in Kentucky. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, came back, lived everywhere in Atlanta on every side, you know, trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, I, don't, I spent my time in Atlanta. I stayed in there. I actually stayed there until I was 33 and um, moved to Miami. So, you know, from Miami, I stayed in Miami a couple of years. Uh, did a lot, a lot of traveling and working uh, on different uh, genres of music and di- different de- demographics and space. And uh, from there, uh, COVID hit and I moved to Orlando. You know, and after, uh, you know, after COVID died down, I'm back moving around. So here we go. Got you, got you. Yo, let, let me ask you, what kind of kid was you, Zo? Was you always easy going or was you in the streets? I was in the streets because I had to be in the streets. Not because I wanted to be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? When you, when you, when you in the streets, you really from from it. It ain't nothing to glorify. The whole thing is get out of there. You know what I mean? So, um, it to this day I don't I don't I don't glorify. It. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm nobody's from the streets. Everybody's in the streets because they that's that is the situation and the cars that are dealt. I think now you got some people that you know they you know some of them, some people go backwards. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You know. Um, you always want to keep that connection to uh, to the hood. You understand what I'm saying? You always want to keep that. You never, you don't never want to leave the space of of that. But like the streets, the streets ain't for nobody. The streets don't love nobody. The streets, the streets. Who own the streets? You know what I'm saying? You can't own, you can't own the streets. And if you do own the streets, you know you can't take it. You can't take it with you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Yeah, was I? I was. I, I definitely was as easy going as I as I could be, and uh, you know what I'm saying. I had to, you know, uh, adjust to where I had to adjust to to survive. You say that. Got gotcha. you. You you know I I think I saw an interview somewhere. You got kicked out in the ninth grade. Yeah. What? Why so? <sighs> It was more of, I guess, a decision of uh, um, my stepdad 
he just, you know, he just, he was just like, man, you know, can't be too, too, uh, two roosters in a chicken coop. What? Uh, he told me, can't be two roosters in a chicken coop. I'm like, what you saying? My mama chicken head. I, I didn't get what he was saying, but I, you know, as I got older, I understood it. You know what I'm saying? You can't have two, uh, you can't be two kings of a castle. This is castle. So I had to go. You know what I'm saying? And when you gotta go, it was like now I gotta, I gotta find, I gotta find my place in the world. I gotta find somewhere to live. How I'm gonna take care. I'm a kid. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the best thing they, they were saying like man, job corps. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, you should go to job corps. So I went. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, make sure you're gonna eat. You gonna get somewhere to live and some food. You know what I'm saying? So just necessities to survive. But not only that, I didn't know that. Job Corps was um, from 16 to, to uh, I think, 24. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, so I had to wait till I was turned 16. So I had to, like, stay around and go to school. And, but I had already made the decision. It was already made for me. I'm not going to be in high school. I'm not even going to be living at this house. So I'm just, you know, pretty much learning and, you know what I'm saying, just hanging out, you know, staying at different places, people's houses, just, you know, picking up what I could pick up. Um, but in the process of, of going to job call, uh, I, I learned a lot of stuff, but I, I, the biggest thing was, uh, adult, so how, how to be a man. Cause mm -hmm. when you get it, there ain't no parents, ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? It's you there, you gotta figure it out. You know what I'm saying? You, you figure it out or you don't figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I was out, I've always been guided and been surrounded, um, even when I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I was ever alone in life, but I spent a lot of times in the 3D physical feeling, you know, real alone. I walked I, I walked the whole earth alone. This whole path, like you, and, but I've been thankful for the ones that been there for me. And I know it. And and, and I thought I told you, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm -hmm. you know, it was always, I was never in a, in a position where it was terrible or horrible anytime you know nothing i couldn't bear and if i couldn't bear those people that are bear with me I mean, that's you, you right said, yes sir so uh but yeah that, that's it on that what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message feel free to share Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.